Hello my beautiful little animations. Welcome to my channel. It's Asara Draws here today to talk to you about why I think we should be talking about the fusion that never happened on Steven Universe. Steven Universe plus Lars equals stars. Like did anyone else like like I feel like they should have made that. Like I feel like as a collective we should have had that happen. And so I'm a little sad it didn't happen, but that's okay. I'm an artist, and today we're going to be doing that together. Um, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, send a comment down below if you like this drawing I'm about to do, as well as any other fusions you'd like to see, because I personally would really love to see a Garnet and Peridot fusion that never happened. <laughs> and that is one of the things that's been sitting in my brain for years. I'm just like, please. <laughs> someone please just someone do it and, and i've never seen anyone do it so i feel like okay i'm gonna have to do it but i, I don't know if, it's, if i should or not so definitely go down to the comments and let me know if i should or if i shouldn't because she was all like oh i don't know if i should i don't know if i should feature you guys she's like okay take your time but i'm like okay but you should because i want to see how that would look but anyway, so this fusion of Lars and Steven are actually uh, based off a drawing I made a few years ago in 2017. It's on my Instagram. I'll flash it up on screen right now. And pretty much in this fusion, I wanted to kind of combine the parts of them, like a taller Steven, you know, bigger um, build like Steven, but also um, has the haircut of Lars has the height of Lars and has kind of more of a distinct personality of Lars as well while also holding in like the, the more Steven Universe take of like kind of you know expressive and more free I realized in my rendition in 2017 he had no colors that are specifically about Steven it was kind of like Oh, look at these pretty um, yellow goatish stars and this deep color shirt and all this stuff. And I just didn't really have any pink in the design as well. But we're going to change that this time, even though I really like this design. <laughs> I'm trying to make it seem like, oh, could he be in the Steven Universe uh, Steven Universe uh, feature? Um, I was going to say Steven Universe Universe, but you get it. You get it. Um, point is here that I'm actually really happy and proud of the design. I took some time to like see if I wanted to change up the design of the t-shirt and I don't know it kind of fits so well and it looks so cute like I would probably design a t-shirt like that in real life and like would love to wear it because I think it's such a cute t-shirt in different colors and whatever. But I really really enjoy um, the, the fusion or the potential of the fusion of these two because I feel like it will be kind of like the bulkiness of Steven and the um, tallness of Lars with Lars personality in something that looks more Steven-ish but also his personality kind of pops out over his time where he's just like oh you know uh gotta gotta blast like <laughs> no gotta blast sorry 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 he's, he's just kind of like that personality that's super bubbly and sweet but it's kind of trumped a little bit by the edginess of Lars so I kind of feel like He's this laid back personality um, with like, you know, the combine of these two, but at the same time, he'll come out with like that bubbly part of him randomly because it's still Steven underneath all of that as well. I had originally thought about this design because as you saw in the um, reference from the drawing I did so far back, I had given them four eyes <laughs> and four arms because I kind of imagine them like, how did they fuse in the first place? Maybe they're on the dance floor, maybe not together. They just slowly are like dancing and slowly are just like kind of losing track of where they are on the dance floor. And they kind of bump into each other from the back. So like their backs hit together. And that's how they fuse because Steven was already like dancing and that's like part of the fusion kind of vibe is just dancing and like, you know, getting ready and whatever. But maybe Steven was like dancing a little too hard on the dance floor, I don't know and they f fused together and that's kind of how the arms got stuck in the back <laughs> perhaps like that's my idea I, I can't remember what i thought about in the past as to why that happened but that's what i think will happen now um so this rendition of this design i made sure to not give them four arms even though i really like the four arms and i perhaps may want to revisit that again if i ever revisit this um rendition or redrawing of my 
whatever past character or you know what I think this character at least would look like because I don't know what he would actually look like because unfortunately they didn't make it happen they need to make it happen perhaps if they bring it back um so pretty much I'm at the next stage where I, you know we got past our sketch got past our lines you know now we're in like color mode and I kind of wanted to take some of the color design from the original that I did um but I also wanted to kind of freestyle it up a little better because I could understand that back then I kind of just didn't care about the color palettes of Steven Universe. I should have, but I was just like, I realized what they should be. It's stars. Oh my gosh, I got this. Like I didn't really think to study or like color pick or to like mix colors to figure out what they would look like together. So that's what I did. That's why you see my little scratch of all these colors together because I'm taking and color picking and then like changing the opacity and layering them together de depending on the colors like I'll take a little bit of Lars take a little bit of Steven you know opacity change layer them on top and then I have a new color and that's how I kind of was like okay well we could try and like combine these colors together and try to like you know get these these this little little better together because I don't even know what I was doing the color palette last time even though I really like my old piece you know it's it's always good to to come back I guess um and to revisit something and redraw it I definitely was feeling the anxiety because I was like, I really like my old piece, but also like I've grown a lot. I didn't believe in myself a lot back then. I still struggle to believe in myself. It's hard because you feel like, can it be perfect? Can a piece be perfect? And most likely, absolutely not. There's so much imperfection in the world and we need to accept that that's okay. You know, it's okay to not be perfect. I literally felt so much anxiety <laughs> trying to see if I can bring it all together and also I gave him a skull because who knows why back then I was trying to draw skulls and I was working on a class project or whatever that had skulls in it and whatnot like I don't know um so personally I just feel like you know it takes a lot it takes a lot to try and put your art out there and try to express yourself in a way that feels like you doing a good job like are you, how you doing son are you winning like you know so if you're an artist watching this and you also struggle with like getting out there pushing and putting your art out there just just do it there's really nothing to lose and I promise you when you're finished with it if you stay consistent with it you'll be so much happier that you stuck with it and got it done than just to do the work, do the art piece, and just not do anything with it. Like not post it, not share it, not talk about it. There's so much more we can do as artists to like get out there. And so I think it's important that we support each other and tell each other that it's okay to just go. So this is my part where I tell you, just, just do it. Just make that art piece, get it done, post it, share it, and, and just try and, and be supportive of yourself because support is so hard sometimes to find in the people around you. And so it's best to just post about your art, okay? All right, so rant over <laughs> if you are artist, rant over. Um, point here is I am actually pretty happy with how this came out he looks like he could be in the tv show like he looked like well to be fair he's like like he's got steven's face whatever so it makes sense he's already halfway into the tv show but i feel like the design itself is not too bad even though i feel like i'm being hard on myself a lot of times when i'm drawing but you know I'm, you know your girl's trying her best your girl's trying her best you know you know um so pretty much i am pretty happy with this design so far and I can't even lie to you I struggled <laughs> as soon as I got done with like the line work and the coloring and all that other stuff I struggled so hard on this piece because it's been a while you guys it's been a while um I used to draw characters all the time day and night I get commissioned to do them occasionally and it's one of my favorite things to do but I definitely struggled because I felt like I don't remember how to render. <laughs> I forgot how to render and it's been too long, which is why exactly why I'm like, I'm about to rededicate myself to my YouTube channel. And I feel like it's so important that I do that because at the end of the day, I feel like 
this is me this is what I want to do this is what I want to be able to express myself with and I really need to get back out there on YouTube and here I am today <laughs> putting out the effort trying my little best you know just just doing what I can at this point because it's it's like a lot of stress to think about how to be perfect and I'm not and so when I got to the render section or portion of my video, which is probably like right around here, I literally felt the struggle bus, struggle bus in me hard. Like I was just like, oh snap, the bus is coming. The struggle bus is coming. I felt that thing whoosh by me, almost hit me. Goodness gracious, which actually I almost did get hit by a bus one day, like, like from the past. But that's like a story time. That's a story time for another time because we're not going to explain that here in this video. But I definitely felt the struggle bus on this rendering portion because I felt so stressed and anxious about trying to get it right, trying to get the lighting right, trying to make it perfect, whatever. It was a lot on me because I was like, oh God, if I'm not perfect, then how am I going to get this done and whatnot. But, you know, I, I persevered. I persevered. I tried. I definitely think I would like to do some more Steven Universe um features or not features um fusions there we go thank you uh <laughs> thanking myself as well sorry <laughs> sorry you guys um steven universe uh fusions in the future that don't exist and do exist i would love to do some redesigns of some older um or some newer fusions that are from the show because that show's pretty older now but that doesn't matter the flame is still alive and beautiful but I would love to do some fusions in the future. I'll also like to do some other stuff for like different content. I still want to do my soul eater chats. I still get messages about that. And those who've been waiting for me, like y'all are ride or dies. And I love you guys so much. And you do not understand how much you guys really push me to come back to YouTube. Like the amount of messages I get from people who are like, hey, come back and do soul eater chats. I'm like, okay. But I have to draw everything because now I'm like older and I'm an artist and now I can actually make all the assets myself and I can draw all the characters myself and I can do all this stuff myself. So now I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to put in the work and I got to redo the storyline of that or not even redo it, but like re reconfigure how that's going to end because past me is different from current me. And so I have to really figure that out, you know, so shout out to you guys who like leave me messages who send me messages who leave me comments it's really helpful to me and it's means the world to me actually so i really appreciate you guys so much and you guys without you guys i'd <laughs> i'd give up by now and so i i really take it to heart and i really love it when you guys just like y'all are amazing so thank you um so this section of this video <laughs> um which i'll be touching on something else about um what i'm going to bring to my channel after the close end of this video anyway this part of the segment of the video is kind of like where i'm sketching out what stars which is naming stars would be doing where he'd be like working at the big donut and we have um sadie who's just chilling there like okay um don't don't look his way where's lars you know like what's going on and like stars is kind of bored taking on the personality closer to Lars because he's taking on the look of Steven more heavily so I think he would take on the personality of Lars better and we also have a little bit of Steven peeking out which is why there's a sketch of him like <laughs> like who where is Lars because <laughs> he's like sweating like oh snap like what do I tell them what happened how do I explain where Lars is this is awkward and that's kind of like the part where Steven's coming through because he's more light and like more airy compared to um Lars because Lars is more serious or whatever or more um What's it called? Edgy? Uh, emotional? Emo? Is he emo? I don't know. Uh, you, you get it. He's he's a different kind of personality. Next, I'm going to draw stars in space or like the version of stars where he fuses with Lars after he died and came back. So this is more of a, um, you know, design based on their kind of adventures in space, I guess, after. I kind of made his like clothing more like angular instead of rounded and pointed down and pointed it up kind of villain like <laughs> so having him look like a villain with a soft face is crazy funny to me but I tried to incorporate some stars because you know his name is stars because they're the combination of large okay I can't I can't get over the fact that stars would be such a perfect name they really need to put it in the show I love it so much anyway so I made stars on the cape 
and I tried to make him look kind of futuristic or kind of similar to the clothing that Lars is already wearing and I'm just like throwing in color and I'm like okay well their hair is pink and we, we work with that right anyway um so I'm pretty much adding the color and all this beautiful um stars to this thing because I'm kind of thinking of it like a cape that shows like stars or whatever and I'm thinking of it kind of like starry night but I was really wanting to add some color patchwork like starry night but I was like let me chill because I don't even <laughs> I want to do that much even though I really really want to put a Starry Night on this cake because I love Starry Night. Van Gogh is like one of my favorite artists. Such a good, such a good artist. Um, anyway, so I worked on the color design pretty much and tried to incorporate some of the past colors from um, the Lars but also adding my own spin to it which is why we have a star cape instead. Um, I really love the... Um, what you call it? Um, pink that they always make Steven wear so I made sure to make it as iconic as I could. <laughs> And last week we were going to do a sketch, uh, I guess Steven just sitting on a bench or something eating, uh, what's it called? It's cookie Cat? I think it is Cookie Cat. Um, which is like super duper yummy, Cookie Cat. He left his family behind, like something that's a callback to his past, I guess. Pretty much, I guess I'm going to take this time to say that I feel like I really want to explore more into my channel. More art, more character design more storytelling that's the one thing that really led me to be a youtuber for the longest time was like creating um youtube stories or not even youtube stories just stories in general and so i really want to take this time to say that i feel like i'm going to make a direct move into telling another story which will be perhaps about Coraline and a sequel about Coraline like what would a sequel about Coraline look like? Like everyone loves Coraline so much. Everyone just enjoys the amount of love and passion and storytelling they put into Coraline. But even though everyone loves Coraline, they don't really talk about a Coraline too. It's only been about Coraline, you know, being re-showed at every movie theater, but no one talks about what a Coraline 2 would look like. And I already have a story written to what I think it would look or sound at least to me cool as a Coraline sequel. It's like 21 pages and I'm planning to create those 21 pages into a comic and um, I'm pretty excited to try my hand at it because I love art and I love storytelling. So if you're really down for something like that, like you should totally hit the subscribe button, hit the like, leave a comment. Um, if you want to support me to get it done faster or to help me get to like, you know, finishing it quickly, like pretty much saying the same thing twice, sorry, <laughs> then you can join my Patreon or if you can't just subscribe to help me get my numbers up, I'll be able to get it out quicker and I'll be able to continuously make good content for you guys, whether it's character design, art design, um storytelling so anyway if you guys like hit the subscribe button hit the like button you know choose the little bell icon to get notified whenever i post i'd greatly appreciate it um if you support me on patreon you'll be in my um in credits of my videos and i'm really excited to roll out a comic or a virtual comic what would this be a youtube story a youtube comic youtube story something about what Coraline 2 would look like what what are the aspects of it what happens how does this happen how does this go down what is the other mother doing how did all this happen over time like i already have everything fleshed out in 21 pages and i'm really excited to show you guys so i'm hoping perhaps i can start releasing it by the end of august depending on how well i guess this video does but then again if it doesn't do well i'm probably gonna just try my best anyway because at the end of the day i just want to tell stories so if you really like this video, please let me know. Um, it really brightens my day to read your guys' comments. Um, I hopefully can see you guys another time next time. And I'm super excited to start working on a Coraline video. I just wanted to really get out this stars video because I really wanted to restart my channel in a very um, high note because I just wanted to show that my channel is about to take a different turn and, and not even a different turn just a new refresh a channel refresh i don't know you guys but thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next time